welcome back to Y in the morning. And if it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular section, we dive into an interview that looks at tour, travel, and fitness management. And in studio, I'm joined with Agnes Njiru. She is the founder of Safari Year 2 Adventures, and she does a lot of couple of other things. So, hi, Agnes. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I love your skin. What's your skin care routine? Let's start there. Oh, my God. I just <laughs> say it's just so normal, so uh, natural. Uh -huh. I, I think just washing my, my face with soap. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Yeah. Guys, she doesn't have makeup on. <laughs> no, no. Flawless. <laughs> so, Agnes, so uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, we understand from what I've mentioned that you're the founder of Safari to Adventures. Uh, tell us a little bit of other things, because I know you do a couple of other things, other things apart from tour and travel. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. Um, I'm so delighted to be uh, in the Kenya's number one youth channel mm -hmm. uh, this morning. So, my name is Agnes Njiru. Um, 25 years old. Yeah, ladies don't say their age, but yeah, I'm 25 <laughs> years old. Um, I am a reader. Um, I'm a passionate uh, mentor. I actually work closely with uh, an NGO called Bifedo that really uh, tries to motivate uh, high school students. So far, I've been into 17 counties in the country. Um, I'm a fitness trainer uh, by profession working mm -hmm. closely with families and uh, corporates. Mm -hmm. I'm delighted to have worked with so many uh, dignitaries in the country. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. Um, I'm also um, founder of Team Builders Kenya. These are the people who uh, work closely with corporates to ensure productivity in your industries. And um, most of all, I'm the founder of Safari to Adventures. That is where my passion lies. And uh, that is a tour and travel company based in Kenya. Yeah, and it was founded in um, 2019, when, while back in campus. Yeah, so we deal with uh, a lot of things that I'll be telling you as you go by. Girl boss, you're doing a couple of so many other things. <laughs> so what did you study in school? Um, I studied recreation and sports management mm -hmm. from Kenyatta University. This is a course that has many levels from a diploma, degree, master's and PhD. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a course that you feel very free and flexible. Um, in, the, in the current world, people are now trying to appreciate the fact uh, that lifestyle diseases are catching up with us and it is important that we keep fit. So with this course, uh, we are able to you know, manage your fitness. And also, uh, congratulations to Team Kenya. You did us proud in Tokyo. And in Nairobi, where you all emerged winners, thank you to all your coaches, trainers, nutritionists, you kudos to them. All right. I mean, we, uh, we, earlier on when we started, you mentioned that you, you got to work with a couple of dignitaries. Probably you could mention a few. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. If um, it's allowed, or if it's allowed. <laughs> I would say, uh, I don't know, like mention the names, uh -huh. but I've worked with um, families of the dignitaries. Okay. I've worked with um, Olympian Nona Kipragat, right. with the team Rona Sports, mm -hmm. and um, working closely with Central Bank of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, let's go back to what exactly do you do when it comes to fitness management? What sort of programs do you run? Do you run? Uh, when it comes to uh, fitness, I do programs for the individuals, families, and corporates. Okay. I have first to get your background information in terms of health, so that uh, if you have any underlying condition, it is possible for me now to like, draft what really works for you. I'm very flexible uh, in terms of where you're available. Now we have, we have to appreciate the fact that we have technology, and we can use some of those applications to reach you wherever you are. Okay, all right. And for someone who's watching this, uh, uh, you know, us talking, right? And of course, you went to school for, for this. And for what does it take for one to be a fitness trainer? Um, do I really need to go to school? Yeah, you need to, you really need to go to school, Michelle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because because uh, dealing with people requires uh -huh. a lot of, you know, knowledge and, mm -hmm. a, a, and a lot of grace. Yeah, first of all, there's knowledge because um, 
out there people have conditions and you cannot just assume they are fit because of they how they look yeah you cannot mm. scan a person by how they look mm -hmm. you need like to listen to them have documents from their doctor if they are familial personal doctors then draft programs according to their conditions so it is important for one to go to school yep go to school run so that now you can be able to deliver professionally ah it's not just passion where i just wake up and i decide <laughs> by the way i love dancing so i'm going to be a zumba uh, dance trainer something of the sort uh, and and I understand from where you're coming from because i also know that it goes with the uh, different body types when it comes to probably losing and also gaining weight right Yes, sure, sure, sure. Actually, we have three types of body, and it is important to also understand who are you dealing with, what are their types of bodies, if they're endomorphs. Endomorphs are these people who don't gain weight very fast, mm -hmm. and um, it's good to learn. If they're endomorphs, know how to draft their program. If they're mesomorphs, what yeah, is? mesomorphs are these medium body size okay. that they gain weight um, moderately mm -hmm. and their, their metabolism is also moderate okay. and they also don't lose weight very fast and also if you're dealing with ectomorphs, ectomorphs are these people who um, they gain weight but losing is a problem so mm. understanding the type of bodies and uh, what they are expected to do is really important and it gives you an easy time and for the client to be able to manage their their wellness and fitness. Alright, Agnes, you're in a business show <laughs> How do you monetize from this? <laughs> oh well. So what is your um, uh, system of monetization from uh, being a fitness trainer? Being, being a fitness trainer, I would say um, it's part time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because fitness is um, maybe thirty to forty five minutes, and at most an hour. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for me to work through, like for in a week I can be having like three sessions mm. with different people, all four. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to schedule my time and be able to make money out of that. So it depends on the number of people and other logistics like your location and um, you know the, the, how will I be able to access you. Yep. So, so it's you're paid, something. You're paid by, per hours? Yeah, per hour, per hour. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. Now, I, I, I get it, I get it. Let's talk about, uh, let's shift, let's change uh, hats now to tour and travel. So let's talk about Safari 8 Adventures, yeah? When did it start and um, uh, why Safari 8 Adventures? Oh, thank you, Michelle. I love talking about Safari 8 Adventures. Mm -hmm. One, it's a tour and travel um, company based in Kenya. It started in 2019, uh, registered and started operating in 2019. Um, why the name Safari to Adventures? Those are two Swahili words, mm -hmm. Safari Yetu and then Adventures. That means that is our journey, Safari Yetu Adventures. And our motto is experiencing life together. So you can get like those two words are somehow related to being around people. Basically, I'm a people's person. I like being around people. That's why I realized, well, how can I get to be around people? How can I be able to experience life with others? This is through Safari to Adventures where I get to interact with all people, ranging from kids, um, youths to adults and senior adults. Oh. Um, and our motto, uh, we're, sorry, and our vision, mm -hmm. Uh, it's to be the world's most trusted and reliable travel company and mm -hmm. to be able to bridge you uh, to your dream and to overall corporate achievements. Okay, Agnes. Well, you know, I have, I have friends who are into train travel and uh, I've also encountered a situation whereby they tell me, you, you just have to like, uh, you know, put up a poster. Like we are going to, let's say, uh, Malindi or Ndiani, and all you have to do is give details and, you know, bring guys on board, friends. Every, so it, there's always an aspect of uh, that it's an, easy, uh, it's an easy thing to do. You know, like everyone can do a tour and travel uh, sort of a kind of a business because people assume it's just, you know, get a poster and tell people that you're going this place and this is a certain amount of, of money that we need for this particular uh, occasion. Is it as simple as that? Actually, people think so, but it's not that simple. Mm -hmm. uh, for you to be able to uh, operate or learn a tour company, it, it really is something you need to first understand who is your target client? Who are you targeting? Are you targeting kids? Are you targeting youths? Or are you targeting the differently able children? Are you targeting the, the aged? 
So um, knowing your target client makes it easier to draft programs. Also, you're able to know like which are their favorite destinations. So first of all, don't just do posters if you're out there and listening to me. Be able to know like um, if I'm dealing with this type of people, um, what am I supposed to do? What do they like? And again, um, where I'm going to take them, how much am I being charged? Yeah, get those details. Those final, final details are very important. And for two operators who are out there or somebody trying, never take rent to a place you've never been. It can be a shock on you, seeing images, and then when you go there, it's totally different. So please do an, ex um, an excursion, go there, see what is there, so that when you're telling your clients, like, you know, guys, this is what you're offering. You, you, you have confidence in it. You, you know what you're really saying. You're not just seeing it from, seeing it from social media. You go there, yeah, reach there. All right. Yeah. How do you keep the, you know, the novelty? Because uh, as, as you mentioned, don't take your client to a place where you haven't been. Well, uh, how do you go about, you know, scouting for these new places and just making sure, because I also get the, the aspect of clients going to uh to see these posters where they they're taken to the same place let's go to naivasha let's go to mombasa these are the places that uh we have already been there so how do you ensure that you scout for how do you scout actually for new places first of all i have like a program for every year mm -hmm. and uh, with safari to adventures we don't repeat destinations mm -hmm. so when you see our post out there you know that de that destination you're doing it once and for all uh, but there are final, final uh, like a destination that we repeat, but not most of them. So um, I would say, like for example, our calendar this year was very fully packed, and uh, I'll just mention what is happening between now and December. Mm -hmm. We'll be having natural caves uh, on 26, that is on Sunday. In October, we're having Diani. In November, we'll be going to Samburu. In December, we have a trip to five countries that is from Kenya, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Zambia, all the way to Botswana and back. Then we also have a trip to Rwanda for our Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so tr how I scout for destination is by, first of all, analyzing what my clients love. My clients love lux luxury, my clients love good stuff, so yeah. All right, speak about your client, who are your target uh, market? <laughs> well, my target market is um, youth between 21 years and 34 years. Okay. These are young people who are in business, who have young families and who are ready to explore. I don't mean others are not ready to explore, but yeah, this age is really, really out there to see life. Yeah. Uh, less responsibilities around. Yeah, they, then they have less responsibilities. Okay, so how we talk about, uh, let's look at um, the financial aspect of it. How affordable uh, are these particular, uh, you know, destinations? And how do you come up with the prices? Considering there is competition out there, there's so many people who do tour and travels. Uh, so I first decide where, where I'm going. If I'm doing a trip within Nairobi, if I'm doing a trip outside Nairobi, the prices may vary. But how I draft my um, my prices is by one considering a um, few factors, mm -hmm. such as dis distance, mm -hmm. transport, um, the number of people I'm expecting, because I just don't draft a, um, a post, a brandery, I'll be like this trip, I'm expecting just 30 people. Mm -hmm. So if you're among the 30, you're lucky. Mm -hmm. If I'm targeting 20 people, you're lucky. So um, yeah, knowing the number of people, helps you to make a good a good a good price and then um, the inclusives are also very important what are these people going to find there so if the place for example let me say a destination like Garendare mm -hmm. in Nanyuki mm -hmm. you find that it has broad springs it has the highest canopy work in East Africa so when you go there you'll be like yeah, these people I'm expecting them to go to the canopy I'm expecting them to go swim mm -hmm. uh, the broad springs yeah that's 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 just like two activities and maybe hike so um, let's say posters and prices depends highly on the inclusives. What are the clients going to expect? Yep. All right. And uh, uh, take us through uh, what it takes when it comes to marketing and branding uh, a tour and travel kind of a business. Well, I'll say, yeah, it's something. Marketing is something. 
and for anybody having a business out there and it's not on social media I'd say, you know, having a business, please try and be visible on social media. Mm -hmm. So it took me to even go to um, study a digital marketing course mm -hmm. so that I can be able to reach out to my client. Mm -hmm. So um, marketing, yeah, I do a lot of posting. Mm -hmm. It depends, like for example, of various uh, social media platforms. Mm -hmm. You have to understand which, um, applic what application requires what I mean, wh which application or what you what you expected to do in in all the application. For example, in YouTube, you need like the videos. Uh, on Instagram, you need to do uh, very nice photos. Mm -hmm. On TikTok, mm -hmm. which is among the reading application, you need mm -hmm. to do just short videos and be creative yeah? and be cr very creative. Mm -hmm. On Facebook, images, they can serve both uh, with Instagram. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and on Twitter, you have to be on the trends. What's oh, happening? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you also have to involve people like their, their um, how do you call them? Um, influencers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Influencers. You okay. need to influence. To, um, All right. Let's look at uh, what resources are key to running uh, like a train travel, like these particular trips. What are the kind of resources that are really, really uh, important when getting into this sort of kind of a business? First of all, you need reliable transport people. Mm -hmm. uh, you need uh, graphic designers because, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tours is very visual. Mm -hmm. People need to see a good post out there. Mm -hmm. They will be like, yeah, this poster, within the first five seconds, they should be like, I'm going to this trip or not. Mm -hmm. So um, you also need to have marketers. Mm -hmm. um, you can choose to have um, their influencers. Mm -hmm. You can also do it yourself. You can do promotions. Every application is, up, is uh, providing insights where you can do, uh, where you can promote your ads. You can also do newspapers. Yeah, so yeah. you really need to have like, in summary, you need to have uh, transport, Airbnb transport, graphic designers, mm -hmm. marketers. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. We looked at <laughs> when all, when you did fitness. Mm -hmm. uh, when you when we looked into fitness, we, we got to see how you make uh, the chums the money. Let's look at <laughs> let's look at your money making model when it comes to train travel. Uh, top three because I know there are different uh, spaces where you can actually make money. Yeah. Sure. 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 Yeah. Yes, yeah, so uh, when it comes to tours and travel, how I make money is by, you know, getting the profit margin. We call it profit margin. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, you will be able to tell uh, in, in a certain trip, per person, I'm maybe getting a thousand bob or 500 or 200 or, yeah, depends. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the end of the day, you'll be able to see if I'm having 30 clients and every client maybe I'm getting a uh, thousand bob, at the end of the day, I'm making 30,000. That is minus all the costs mm -hmm. yeah all right uh top two disadvantages that you've faced or challenges that you've faced uh, uh while op well in operation in train travel oh well so one of the disadvantage or the challenge is um uh covid yes i'd say covid mm -hmm. covid has really hit us hard in mm -hmm. tour mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, people are not booking travels now. Mm -hmm. But guys, if you're watching me, now start traveling. <laughs> please, please, please start traveling. Uh, yes, yes. And okay. sometimes, mm -hmm. um, sometimes, what else? Sometimes, let me see, just COVID for now. Because COVID? everything else is something that is manageable. Okay. But COVID mm -hmm. was somehow beyond us. All right. A yeah. couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way. One, you have to be very smart with your finances. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they're everything. I mean, money is a tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything you need. I mean, transport. You you have to pay your guys. You need money, so money is a tool, guys. If you have money, please manage it well. To work with people, work with people. You can never do something alone. You need to work closely with everybody else. Not everybody, but the specific people that you've chosen to be close to you. Number three, uh, always learn. You can never be a uh, know-it-all always ask questions learn from your colleagues yeah all right okay as you wind up tell us how people can reach out to you if they are they want to keep up this conversation and if want to take a pure wapeleke the next destination as well so tell us more about uh if there's another coming uh, destination that people should be on the lookout and uh, social media handles 
before you go there, I'll <laughs> let you to know what we do. It's a variety of adventures. Okay. So, well, um, when we have corporate events, corporate, yeah, the corporate, we put corporate first. We have conferences, destination, team building destinations. Um, then we have day trips. We have campings. We have road trips. We have uh, car hires. We also have a ticket, ticket that is for the flights and the SGL. Yes, so you can check check it out on our social media platforms, which are on um, Facebook. We are Safari to Adventures. On Instagram, we are Safari to Adventures KE. On Twitter, we are at Adventures Year Two. On TikTok, we are Safari to Adventures. Yes, you can also reach us on WhatsApp and um, and calls and messages too. <laughs> okay, there you have it, guys. Agnes will be taking you to your next destination and making your uh, flight booking quite easy and affordable. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Agnes, for creating time to be with us. Talking about you know tour and travel, fitness management, and uh, of course, uh, I think we should you know talk after here because <laughs> you need to travel yes yeah 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 so guys back at home make sure you keep in touch with uh safari to adventures if you are look on the lookout of your next uh you know destination you want to travel uh this is the place to be at that is safari to adventures remember you can follow us across all our social media handles that is at y254 channel at michelle shira is where you can find me across all my social so make sure you stay tuned so much coming your way right here on entrepreneurship tuesday on why in the morning we'll be having uh, Kayesu coming over so um, stay tuned as we look forward to having the health conversation remember to to for channel at Michelle Ash Ashira at Sankara Kayesu is where you can find us across almost all our socials we'll be right back